Hi, I'm John Storms, and uh, today we're going to talk about some problems. So let me introduce you to problem number one. So over the years, I have switched vendors a couple of times. And what happens is you get different types of connectors. So this connector was from Seasonal Entertainment, and you can see it is solid with a little flat top. This one happens to be female. And then this one is a connector from Holiday Coro. It's like an X connector. And it doesn't have a flat thing, it just has a notch at the bottom. And then Paul Zhang has a different connector, Ray Wu has a different connector. And so what can happen is, over time, as you take advantage of sales, or you, like in my case, has a vendor like Seasonal Entertainment that goes under, you can end up with multiple different kinds of connectors. And that's a problem because you can't plug the lights into each other. Also, it comes down to cabling. If you bought a bunch of cabling from one place, now you have to figure out how to use it. So another problem that you run into is that we also need to do power injection. Every 100 pixels to 125 pixels, you know, so every once in a while we need to inject power. So I found a, a neat little thing that solves a lot of these problems. Oh, and that's not all. It's not just bad enough that the seasonal entertainment connector is different, but they also have the positive and negative reversed, okay? So even if these two connectors did fit, the lights wouldn't work because the positive and negative are reversed. However, this little guy solves all my problems. So this is a T connector, and it is kind of a general multi-purpose T connector. Okay, and let me explain what what you're seeing here. So when I pull off these tops, there are three holes and each hole has a screw. Let's see if it will focus. Not very well. So I'll hold it a little further. But each one of these has a little screw. So this one is, kind of, is a copper color. We'll call that one red. This one is in a black housing. We'll call that one black. And this one is silver, and we'll use that one for data, okay? And then each side has these, and they have these little screw-down connectors that I'm in the process of loosening up, which you stick the wire in the hole, you tighten up the screw, and it holds it in place. No solder. And it has this nice, beefy uh, wall so that you're not in unintentionally touching each other. So I'll unscrew all of these. So the idea is, is that if I need to switch pixel types, I'll do it at convenient, you know, strategized points where I also need to do power injection. I'm just taking my multimeter here and setting it to a continuity check. Just to show you that, for example, the red pin here, connects to red here and it connects to red here. Likewise, silver connects to silver, connects to silver, and black connects to black and black. So each one of them is is straight through. Okay? So if I wanted to connect two types of things together, I just make sure that I am consistent, I have my positive and negative, and well, off I go. And then this, the, the one coming off the T, this one will be for power. Now, the one that you're doing for power only needs, um, only needs the positive and negative. You don't want the data, because there isn't going to be any data. Oh, liquid liquid what's this a liquid electrical tape liquid tape so i'm just gonna on one of my mail connectors so i use these three core for my uh, power injection because i have a ton of them but uh, really you only need the the two core so you could actually use a two core wire here build your own power injection box and you know save yourself some copper but i'm using what i have so i'm just snipped off the data cable there a little liquid tape on them just to make sure nobody hits anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm putting 
the red one in the red hole and the black one in the black hole. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Very important. Oh my word. And I forget this all the time. I want to put the little connector over top. So this claims to be an IP68 uh, waterproof, which means it can get splashed around pretty good. So I put the red one in the red hole, black one in the black hole. But not these holes, these holes, the bottom of the T. Okay. And then tighten up the screws. Nice and snug, no without stripping. Let's see, and then see this guy screws on over top of the assembly, and he screws this in place to kind of hold everything tight. A little bit of tension. See, and then this goes out to my mail cable end and then that would plug into my power injection box okay now my seasonal entertainment connector remember i told you that my seasonal entertainment lights are wired up backwards so watch this so i'm going to put the red in the black and the black in the red so i reverse them here and then i'm going to put the data well can't quite get it to bend that way, so we'll hit that last, but we're going to put the data in the silver. So now I have the black in the red terminal. I have the red. Oh, 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 I did it again. Holy crap. You gotta slide this guy first. Okay, now red in the black. Black and the red. Okay. So I reversed it here. So what will happen is when the power comes in, it'll come in and then I switch it here through this little pigtail. So what I'm doing is I'm not just building a data injection point. I'm not just building a converter cable to go from one type of cable to another. But I'm also creating a positive to negative, and I'm flipping those all at the same time. See, so these little T's for me are godsend. Because next year I'm adding a bunch more snowflakes, and I want to be able to daisy chain these a bit more. This year I was limited in daisy chaining things of that are the same type. I even have some stuff out there that's four core. And so I can also do this to support those. See, so now I tighten this one down. See? So now this guy would go into my seasonal entertainment lights and he will automatically reverse the, cable, the, um, the positive and negative. So then I have this next one. This is going into holiday core lights. This is an excellent connector. See, and this makes it so if I want to do somebody, somebody else has a better deal than holiday core, like let's say they don't have a, you know, pre-sales event, I can always go someplace else. And if they have a different type of connector, voila, I can just create one of these to convert it over. So this one, since, the, you know, holiday core is wired up right for positive and negative, the positive goes in the red terminal or the copper terminal. Say it like that. Black goes into the black terminal. Like so. And then the yellow, which I have inconveniently stuck all the way around here. I need to undo it so I can feed it through. Otherwise it's going to be kinked at a bad angle. If it's kinked at a bad angle, then there's a much better chance it will wiggle itself loose. So, 
he goes with the silver. And he's going into red. Get in there. Get in there. Give it a little twist. There we go. So tighten down the yellow, the data, which is it going into silver. So silver for data. And then red is going into the red terminal or the copper terminal. See that? Nice and tight. And yippee. I forgot the stupid thing again. So if you're paying attention, I've missed this every single time. This time I actually got it all the way wired up. But that's okay. I'll fix it in a second. Because Julia Childs and her old cooking show, I have a demo already wired up. Okay, so what I have here, so I have a Falcon um, F16 V3 controller. And then off of port 9 here, nope, port 9 here, I have a hundred holiday Coralites. Okay, now this cable coming in is only wired for ground and data. So ground and data are coming in here, flowing through here, and I come up and around into this T. So I have a holiday Coro X connector coming into this custom wired T. Okay, and of course I have, oh, Mariah fell off, and then I have this power injection here. Now coming out of this side, I have a seasonal entertainment connection, and I have the positive and negative flipped, and then it comes into 100 seasonal entertainment lights. Actually, it comes into 200, but the power is essentially powering this first 100, and then this next 100 is being powered by this other connector, and this is seasonal entertainment to seasonal entertainment. So on this one, I wired both of these reversed, and this one is wired normally, going back to that uh, ammo box that has power injection. So, I have 100, 200, 300 lights. Data is coming from the Falcon. Power is coming from this guy. So I have these two guys plugged in. And if we pop them open, we got our power injection box right there. Okay, so, come over to the Falcon. And we go down here, stick them in the test mode, color wash, and voila, look at that. They're all working. Well, mostly, what are you doing? Ah. Looks like uh, blue isn't working on that guy. So if I do blue ramp, where'd he go? See, right there. He is not happy. So, anyway, but, uh, see, it works, so, holiday coro, I have a converter, power, in I'm inverting the positive and negative, and doing power injection, going over to the seasonal entertainment, and then this is a T connector, going from seasonal entertainment to seasonal entertainment, but with those little handy connectors, you can switch basically from anything to anything, so, it solves a lot of problems. Anyway, just wanted to share that because uh, I'm going to be using that a lot in the next year's display.